leave the room. Bye bye. No, you don't like them. Oh, that's not true. While they're gone, actually, we're gonna be coming up with some uh, some suggestions for the next game called debating. What's gonna happen here is uh. Well, we're going to come up with some ideas. Let's just get into that first, OK? Uh, we're going to have three topics. They're going to have a debate when they come back. And they'll be kind of discussing these topics and uh, trying to figure them out as they go along. That's how it's going to work. Uh, so for topic number one, let's start them off easy. Have some sort of kitchen appliance, not a toaster or something or like a blender, but a little more unusual of a uh, kitchen appliance. A food processor. OK, excellent. So that's so topic number one. Something about a food processor. Once they get that right, that's good. Uh, we'll move on to topic number two. Topic number two, let us, um, let's see, put together some sort of uh, a location, a location, a public building, a, uh, I don't know, some place like that, some place in the city you might go, a courthouse. Okay, so we have a courthouse. So topic number one is a food processor. Topic number two is about a courthouse. Topic number three, let's make it a little more difficult here. Let's uh, give them some sort of, let's get some animals. A couple animals, maybe. A koala and another one. Zebra. A koala and a zebra. Okay, perfect. So we have a koala and a zebra. Let's uh, let's make an animal. Let's let's push them together. So we have an animal that's half koala and half zebra. Okay. Call it what you like. That's what it is. Okay. So remember, topic number one is a uh, a, food, a food processor. Topic two is a courthouse, and topic three is a half koala, half zebra uh, animal. Okay. So. What's going to happen here is when they come back, they're going to uh, talk through these as they look to me to act them out, okay? A lot of motions, uh, no words, maybe a couple sound effects along the way, but they're going to look to me to act them out, and they're going to have to try to piece it together as they go along. So let me bring them back here real quick. Okay, so as they're kind of talking it through, they're going to need your help, I'm afraid. So uh, kind of uh, help them along. If they say something kind of right on the right track, give them like a little golf clap. Just like a, can you practice that one? Just like, yeah, that's something nice. And then when they get something right on, give them a big round of applause. That one know that they did well, and we'll move on from there. OK, so wow. Uh, topic number one. Kelsey, we'll begin with you. Topic number one, I'm going to hit this app, uh, is some sort of a kitchen appliance. That's all I got. OK, here we go. Well, I would like to open the debate with my opening comments. Uh, you see, when you need to get things out of the cupboard, uh, they will spin, they will make your head spin, they will just, like a drum, like a Jamaican drum man. And, uh, you're, you're gonna wanna drink things. You're gonna want to drink heavily, heavily, and eat those drinks. Maybe there's ice cubes in it. Maybe you need to chew it a little bit. It's a little bit crunchy. Uh, and so when you, when you put all the ice cubes in, you're gonna wanna shake it. You're, you're, you're gonna not wanna drink anything. That has nothing to do with it. I agree with you wholeheartedly. I think the issue of home health care should be circled about. I think that we should be taking things and just setting them aside. And then as we set them aside, we should bring them back together and lock them into place. I think that's important. I think it's like our social issues are locked into place and the entire world is spinning around us because we need, once we cut our hand, we need <laughs> Obamacare. Yes, Obamacare. Obamacare is the answer, David. I have to agree with you on that. But what I disagree with you is, is the heat of the issue. It's really, it's not hot. It's not hot. It's not that hot of an issue. It's, it's not that hot of an issue. Uh, but, but there are buttons to push. You push my buttons and it, and it just makes me boil. Uh, it doesn't. <laughs> it makes me boil. It makes me want to just dump you. It yeah. makes me want to dump you right out and then push more buttons. Uh, <laughs> it makes me want to and, and create things out of nothing. <laughs> and it will be... My head is spinning, David. Oh, yes. I'm, yes. I'm really confused because we're not drinking, but I feel like I should in order to play this game. Yes, yes. We're eating. I'm, I feel hungry. I do too, I feel the food hungry, smells David. so good. I feel hungry for, for peace and for unity in this country. I, I agree wholeheartedly with you. I think peace and unity is important. I think we should gather as many people together as we can and shove them into something that looks like perhaps a blender. Maybe, no, not quite a blender, but I think society as a whole should blend it together and, and like a pull things out. And then when they do, <laughs> they'll confuse you. Oh, I got it. 
now. I would like for you to finish your statement. It's kind of like a food processor. Something is a really hot one. He's a really hot mythological creature that, that 
it's frightening. It, and it's, it's like an elephant. It's like an elephant that doesn't exist. It's not an elephant at all. In fact, forget I ever said anything about the monkey. It's a monkey and it's like a gorilla kind of thing. But <laughs> yeah. That's what I got. That's what I got. Yes, a gorilla, David. A gorilla.
Yes, Samuel. I have to talk to you about an issue I've come up with. Uh, is it the fact that I pee in the toilet seat? That's one of the issues I've been meaning to talk to you about, but it looks as if you've had sex in my bed. I have. Change. I have not even touched your bed. Change. That was your dog. <laughs> well, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Were you with the dog? No. Yes, no, that's okay. I don't need to know that. I think what's important is roommates, we should learn to build bonds together. Change. I think that we should learn to build fires together. Change. I believe we should build a new dorm building together. We should. Then we can have lots of roommates. That's right. Just young children being naked and... Change. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Just... People living in domiciles and doing their everyday business. Change. A lot of crazy college kids. We oh. are roommates! That's right! That's what, I, that's what I meant by young kids, but that's okay! All right. I had a whole different image in my head. I'm old. All right. So what we first need, though, is we need to buy, we need to get a deed. I've got one. My father left me a building. Change. My father left me an acre of land. Change. My father died. Oh, that's a bummer. Too. But he left me a building. That's a really small building. No, this is the will. Oh, it's got a building on it. Oh, with a deed. Turn that into a dorm. <laughs> we could turn it into a dorm, but I'm not sure that it'll hold up under the conditions of the weather. <laughs> we are in Kansas. Change. We are in Malaysia. Yes. Monsoon season's upon us. <laughs> yes, I'm hoping to graduate from the University of Malaysia with honors. Change. I'm hoping to graduate the University of Malaysia with malaria. <laughs> I've already done that. It's not fun. Yes, you can feel the Malaysia in my forehead. The malaria in my forehead. I didn't think you were Malaysian, but you know, you're beginning to look like it. You're limping like a Malaysian. I would live. Oh, you're limping. Yes. Malaysian. Change limp. <laughs> like a Bahamian lip, but that's okay. I understand. Yes. I've got the plans for the door. I see it. We'll put palm trees on either side of the entrance. Change. We'll put dragons on either side of the entrance. That will be really cool, and I think what we should also do is bring little mice together and tie them up. Change. <laughs> oh, no. I think we should bring little peacocks together and... and Set them up in the palm trees. I love peacock feathers in the palms. It's like home, isn't it? It is, because I come from Peacock Falls. Fancy. <laughs>